what just happened. Anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to open up this chest right now. Hopefully, hopefully we get some E-Wiz action coming our way. I have not got an E-Wiz in four evs. Hopefully, let's make this happen, guys. Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. Uh, well, the Elite Challenge, King's Cup 2. Um, not gonna even tell you what happened yet. Just hold on just a second. Oh wait, you probably saw in the thumbnail. Dang it. Oh well, either way, check this out. We're gonna watch a couple replays and then I'm gonna get to opening that legendary chest if I want. If I want. I could have just copied somebody else's uh, picture of the legendary chest. So you guys don't know yet. You guys don't know. It could have, that's, that's what could have went down. Anyway, let's get after these, uh, replays right here real quick. Um, let me just show you these last three battles because they are insane. Um, this, this one right here was a real nail biter. Um, I was not able, so vitamin C, uh, OJ's deck, absolute worst deck of the entire challenge. I think absolutely horrible. I thought it was a miserable to play with. I never knew what to do because you always were afraid of somebody having poison or the rocket. Uh, and so you didn't want to play your three musketeers that often. Um, the good thing is nobody had lightning, so I guess there's that. Anyway, starting out pretty strong here. He's starting out with the night witch in the back, which, yeah, we're okay with. He puts his three muskies in the center. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna rocket those, but he did drop an ice golem as well, which that worked out really well for me. The only unfortunate part is that musketeer was out of range of my tower, so I was not able to smoke it, just like I thought I should smoke uh, a lone musketeer with my ice wizard. Went ahead, threw my hog rider in there. Maybe it was a little bit of a mistake. Only got two shots off on the tower that time. Very unfortunate. Cannon cart coming in. He throws his miner down for defense. And look, look what I did here. I threw the ice wizard one tile too far back. So the cannon cart locked on the tower. So right now, completely stressed, okay? Completely stressed. Did not know what was happening. Was able to take out the miner and the cannon cart. But at what cost? Okay, guys, at what cost? Knocked my tower all the way down. And look at that tornado. <laughs> anyway, we're not going to talk about that tornado. I don't even know what I was doing. I'm like, dude, I saw Surgical Goblin use a tornado one time. And he pulled the troops to the other side. It was so cool. Anyway, did not turn out to be that cool because there was no point in it. There was just no point in it. So I think I wasted some elixir there. Look how far behind I am on elixir. I'm five elixir behind, so I think right now, dude, I'm absolutely smoked. He's up on damage, so I go ahead and rocket those, and right now, I'm just like, well, nothing I can do but soak up some damage. <laughs> so go ahead, soak up the miner, pretty much nothing I can do about that. I know that musketeer is going to smoke me, which he did, but had I put the mega minion in the far back, the ice spirit would have come and smoked my mega minion, and then I think he would have just took me out. That tower would have been gone. So right now, not looking good. Go ahead and throw a predictive log. Uh, missed everything, of course, because that's what I do. Two shots right here on the tower. Now what do I do here? <laughs> rocket. Okay? So I throw a rocket. For once in my life, my entire life, I didn't miss, which is absolutely insane. Able to stop that entire push. He's still up on Elixir like a whole gunga load. Okay? So he's like, oh, he just used the rocket. I'm going to throw my three muskets down, and I'm going to just go rampage on this guy. Go ahead and log. I think it was a little bit of a wasted log, but not really because it pushed him back enough that I was able to get the rocket out there. Smoked him. He's like, oh, what? What? Dude, I can see this guy in his seat right now just like, what? What just happened? Able to smoke him. Throw the tombstone up there so, for some fatty defense. Now I'm going to throw the hog rider in there. Hog rider with a rocket. Okay. I think that's what goes down right here. Okay. Able to get one shot off. Worked out perfectly. Just waiting for my elixir. Throw that up in there. He's got a miner coming in. He's got nothing, dude. <laughs> boom. Okay? Just boom. Alright? <laughs> that was awesome. Either way, dude, I thought that was absolutely awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so stressed out. Anyway, let me show you this other one. So, this one, go ahead and I got Chief Pat's deck right here. It's strange that nobody used like any balloons uh, in this challenge. I guess no lava hounds. So it kind of kind of shows you where the meta is going. I actually like Molt's deck um, with the Lumberjack and Mini P.E.K.K.A. I was able to get a lot of pushes in there with just those two and just like take out a tower. I just threw Lumberjack and Mini P.E.K.K.A. and just bam. They went as gangbuster on them. Um, the reason I think 
that some of these decks are so fun to play with and easy to play with is because you know what you're playing against as well. I don't know how good these decks would work out in the real world. And the real world, of course, being grand challenges in the real world. Anyway, he does, he tornadoes, and I don't know what he was thinking. I think that was a pretty crappy, that was like one of my tornadoes, okay? That was one, something that, that I would do. Flying Machine is going to get distracted by the skeletons. Actually, a pretty good play on his part. Took out three shots that would have been on the tower. It would have absolutely done demolition to his tower. So, it was actually a pretty dang good play. Bowler is going to take out that tombstone. I didn't know the bowler just rocked a tombstone like that. It takes a tombstone out and the skeleton. So, pretty cool. thought that was pretty, I guess it's like a log, so that makes sense. The only problem right here is I didn't even think he had a rocket. I don't know what I was thinking. But he goes ahead and he rockets right here. Um, yeah, right. Now, yeah, there he goes. So smokes my furnace and my tower. So I'm like, oh, shoot. What did I do? What have I done? But my furni, my dual furnace, was able to take out the, uh, <laughs> was able to take the Mega Minion out. So I'm going to go ahead and log. He logs two. I put my bowler off to the side, which was a horrible play. Should have put the bowler right in the dead center to take out the hog a little bit better. But his ice wizard's back there just, I don't know, going to town on those uh, goblins, I guess. I don't know what he's doing, but he just got smoked right here. Able to smoke his tower because he was out of elixir. He used so much elixir on that last push, so was able to take him out pretty effectively. This is definitely one of my favorite decks, is T-Pat's deck, obviously. I'm not biased or anything, but I think this is... One of the sweetest decks, for sure. So, able to take out everything with the Flying Machine. I wish I could integrate the Flying Machine into more of my decks, because the Flying Machine actually rocks. Like, rocks hardcore. Anyway, so we get the Furnace down there. Uh, we're going to smoke this guy's tower just a little bit more, because I am a little bit worried this is going to go into overtime at this point. I'm not going to tell you what happens, but I am worried it's going to go into overtime. We're able to shut down the Hog completely. Right there. <laughs> that was so close. Did you guys see how close that was? I am leaking Elixir multiple times during this match only because I'm trying to be more patient and wait to play stuff so that his troops will get on my side of the arena. Um, and I think it, it paid off a little bit. It paid off because it, the more patient I ended up being, the better things got for me. So he rockets. Look at this. So he gets down to 132. Okay. And he's going to throw a. Okay. I'm not even going to tell you. Okay. Yeah. He's going to throw a log right here. Okay, gets the tower down to 36, and there's absolutely nothing he can do. I just, I, my heart goes out to this guy from the Relic Clan. It just, it does. It goes out to this guy. I feel bad, okay? Um, <laughs> last match, okay, let me put, uh, <laughs> let me put my hand over it so you guys can't see who wins or loses. Can you guys, ah, oh, crap, you guys can see. Mirror matchup. What a way to finish it, okay? So let's go ahead. We're going to watch this thing real quick. Damien 3. Okay, so Damien 3. Rocking this thing. Hopefully, okay, I'm a little bit concerned. He puts his cannon cart in the back right here. Right off the bat, which that's 5 elixir investment. But watch what he does with it. It's actually pretty dang good. So I throw my I throw my miner and my bats in there. Able to get the miner in there, but he throws his spear gobs and he's got his regular gobs. My cannon cart is able to tank for his cannon cart and able to take things out pretty efficiently. I throw some goblins down there just to ensure that his cannon cart dials down. His goblin gets one last stab on my cannon cart to take it down, so it just sits there. Wasting, wasting time and energy, okay? Over there. So I throw my spear gobs down, go ahead and zap right here. He zaps as well. Now I know he doesn't have a zap. So that worked out really well for me because I know he's playing the same deck at this point. So I go ahead and throw my miner and my bats in there. Able to get my miner in the back, but he does stop him with the little spear gobs. But look at those bats, dude. Those bats are just going gangbuster. I don't know why he threw his miner right there. It was an absolute waste of a miner. So that worked out really beneficial for me because he did waste that three elixir trying to defend against some bats, which, as we all know, a miner doesn't do too well against bats. Some days it does okay. Just depends if you throw him in the air high enough. Anyway, so I throw my Inferno Dragon against his Inferno Dragon. His, yeah, his Inferno Dragon coming in. Unfortunately, he was not able to stop the cannon cart, so... That cannon cart is just wrecking me. Wrecking me right now. Locked on the tower and did a gunga load of damage. And so now we're actually sitting pretty close in damage. I had to use my miner for defense to be able to take that cannon cart out. I fear that if I did not do that, he would have probably got two more shots off. So I thought that was a pretty decent play, guys. Pretty decent play. Anyway, throw the spear gobs in there. Able to get one or two shots off. Boom! On the Inferno Dragon. Yes, being able to stop that is clutch. Now, I don't think he has Zap. Yeah, he didn't have Zap right away, but I think he can... He, yeah, it's the next card in his thing, obviously. Gosh, what am I thinking? I can look at his cards right now. Anyway, so we're able to take out his Inferno Dragon. We get some Spear Gobs in there with a Miner. Take this tower all the way down. 
260, which I think if I would have looked at my poison, that is in poison range, but I didn't even think about that. Right now, I was just like stressed out. This this is for the ninth win. Anyway, so able to stop his miner, shut down his push. We got his cannon cart down. We got everything down. I threw everything at him that I could. We got bats going in with the goblins going in. Nothing connects to the tower, so I'm a little bit worried. I throw my miner in the back, able to get a couple chip shots on the tower, knock it down all the way to four. Within zap range, so I'm super jacked about that and I waste a zap right there. I'm like Well done to my zap. Anyway, I was gonna use it anyway So he goes poison. This is the first poison in the whole match, which is crazy I thought I zap because I'm like I gotta take this tower out I'll do whatever I got to do to finish that other tower off But he is not able to get anything else his miners clear deep his poisons clear deep and He cannot cycle anything else. He throws his miner in there in desperation Nothing happens, okay? <laughs> so sweet Okay, so that was definitely against Damien. Um, our, well, I'll show you in a second. So, I started out, dude, I was going to drop this challenge, okay? I started out with OJ's deck, which I hate. Um, that first one was uh, a ladder play. Started out with OJ's deck, boom. Lost. I'm like, well, I'm going to just quit this challenge. And I'm like, now nah, I'll play a couple games. Anyway, got the minor deck. Don't know whose that is. Got uh, the Vila Sparky. I think that's Ashes. Got Molt's deck, boom. Uh, then we got a hog rider deck, <laughs> boom, uh, knights, uh, something deck, there's the rocket deck, hog rider deck, another rocket deck, minor deck, nine wins in a row with this thing, absolutely awesome, anyway, let's go over, let's go ahead, we're gonna open this thing up, whoa, that thing spazzed out, that was crazy, what just happened, anyway, let's go ahead, we're going to open up this chest right now. Hopefully, hopefully we get some E-Wiz action coming our way. I have not got an E-Wiz in four ebbs. Hopefully. Let's make this happen, guys. Come on, E-Wiz. Oh, for the love of sweet Pete. Dude, if I get another flipping lumberjack, I'm going to flip out. I like lumberjacks. <laughs> Whatever. Any legendary will take it. It's a free one, so that's cool. Uh, we will definitely take it. Ooh, open those chess quests. Ooh, I get two, 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 two of these with one thing. That's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead. Come on, come on. Give me a legendary just by sheer chance. That would be so sweet. No! No legendary, unfortunately. We got some goblin barrels. We'll take it. We'll take it. Got some goblin gangs, and we got ourselves a bunch of royal giants, which we don't need. Okay. Um, check mark that thing. Oh, sweet. Super excited about that. Oh my gosh, guys. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry I did the replays. It's just what I had to do. I had to focus. I did the live stream, and I just can't focus as much when I'm live. Anyway, thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel today. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Take it easy and good luck.